Hey water signs, welcome to your weekly messages for July 19th through the 25th. Approaching, rapidly approaching, the last week of July. Whew. No signs of slowing down either, which is okay because maybe the quicker that we get out of 2020, the better. Anyway, the new moon is tomorrow, the 20th, in Cancer again. So new moon in June was also in Cancer. So we've got two moons, new moons in Cancer in a row. So definitely extra emphasis. Cancer is in charge of the home and family and everything that happens under your roof. So you can also take a look at where Cancer is in your chart. Obviously, Cancer sun signs, hello. But if you have additional Cancer placements in your chart, then check that out. See what house it's in and maybe what, um, what you can manifest. Since that's what new moons are all about, manifesting, planting the seeds. What is it that you want to accomplish when it comes to home and family and wherever else it might be in your church? So I am using, the, the name of the deck just went completely out of my head. Again, I when I did the general, I'm like, what is that? And then I looked at it, and it just went out of my head again. So hang on. The Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Yes, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. This was a gift from my lovely friend and mentor, Tish. So Tish, thank you so much. I haven't used this deck on camera for a little bit and it was yelling at me, so decided to use it this week. Felt right from doing it. And then I have the Witch's Tarot to clarify. And I'll link all of these decks below so that you can check them out if you were so inclined. And I have Oracle decks as well, so we'll see where we go. So this is general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Could also be talking to a cross washer, so okay. Feel free to um, switch the roles if I say you or if I say your person. Um, and your person could be, depending on what comes out, could be romantic, could be a sibling, could be a parent, a co-worker, your best friend, whatever works for you. And uh, gender is always neutral. If I say he or she, that's just the energy or depiction on the card. So my general five card spread is what I use. It's divinely guided to me once and I just keep using it because it works. <laughs> one more. Okay, one more. week. These are, doesn't mean that it's going to happen this week. It's just, these are the messages that want to come out this week. The energy that's playing out right now. All right. Page of wands in reverse. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sanch. Pages I see as younger. So someone who's younger than you could be your child. Uh, could just be someone who's several years younger than you. So I'll show it to you upright so you can kind of see the the energy. Pages are messengers and wands, um, fire, passion. So uh, maybe you got a message that was kind of like, womp, womp. <laughs> a little lackluster. Um, or it could be that the message didn't come in. There's a delay of some sort. Um, pages are also less experienced because pages trained to be knights who trained to be kings and queens. So um, this could be that you're, you're feeling... Um, like you're a bit more experienced than a page would normally be, or you're feeling less experienced, like not at all prepared. So let's see what else comes out. Seven of Cups, the Empress right in the middle. Nice. Knight of Swords, exact same placement as the general reading. And the Six of Pentacles, that card wanted to come out too, Page of Swords. So, Seven of Cups, this is about choices, decisions, um, maybe feeling like you have too many choices and you don't know which way to go. Maybe you're also feeling like um, someone's trying to manipulate you or pull one over on you because you can't see everything in those cups. We'll see what comes out. The Empress right in the middle, beautiful. 
she is all of the queens combined. She's um, very nurturing and creative, balanced in her energy, maternal. So this could be a mother figure for you, your own mother or someone who's like a mother to you, a mentor, um, could be your energy in general, just that you're a mother or um, very much creative. You could be pregnant. She's typically depicted as pregnant. She's the ultimate wife and mother. So she's wife material. <laughs> so take that out. It resonates for you. She's very much like in her power. She's, and she doesn't have to say it. It's just, you know it. She's an empress. She just sits there on her throne. Like, I know. Someone who gives good advice. Someone who's very nurturing, very loving, very creative. Um, like I said, she's all a queen. So take all of the best aspects of the queen of each suit and combine them into the empress. Knight of Swords, like I said, the exact same placement as the general reading. So that might have significance for you. The Knight of Swords, so knights I see as people who are peers, so within five years of you, and swords, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And knights are all about action. So this is someone who is, and he's kind of like, wow, <laughs> like full steam ahead, charge. So this is very much of that energy of fast. He's the fastest knight in the deck. Very quick action, decided action. Once you decide what you're going to do, you're friggin' going for it. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So feeling like um, you're unbalanced in some way. So the Six of Pentacles is about um, making sure everything is fair, divided evenly, um, whether it's actual material wealth or time, energy, resources in general. So feeling like you're a bit out of balance there or something's not fair. Maybe somebody got a bigger piece of the pie, but you know, bake more pie. With the, this wanted to come out with it. So the page of swords. So like we had the page of wands, we have the page of swords. Um, same feel with pages being peers within a few years, or um, sorry, several years younger than you, could be your child air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in general, just someone who's, um, so pages are messengers, swords are thoughts. So this could be telepathic message. This could also be spying. So someone might be um, checking out your social media, could be driving past your house, <laughs> showing up at your, your place of work, talking to people, seeing what's, what's up, like, hey, what's, what's going on with my water sign? friend. So um, just be careful as well. Maybe that's why you feel like things aren't balanced because somebody's like checking it out. We shall see. So the witch's tarot to clarify. Just about dropped the whole kit and caboodle on the floor. Let's not do that. Let's not. Don't flip. Okay. Shuffle, don't flip. Okay. Now we can flip. I just did what they tell me to do. Page of Wands in Reverse for the first card out. What's up with that? Two of Swords, the Fool. All right. Okay. I'm the tarot reader. I get to sneak peek. <laughs> I don't always, but just that, that was, it just felt weird. So two of swords, very much um, caught up in your thoughts, trying to make a decision. Maybe that's why it's in reverse here. You're like, I don't know what I want to say. I don't really know what I want to do, how I want to communicate. Maybe somebody's like, 
I don't know. I don't know if I can talk to them. I don't know if I have the strength. I don't, I don't know what I would, I mean, I really want to say something, but I don't know what mental conflict, trying to make a choice. What's the logical choice? It can't always come from logic, right? We know that as water sense. The fool in reverse, not something new. You're not venturing out on a new endeavor. So see, it's kind of like, let's go and not so much. Hold on, pump the brakes there. So maybe because um, you're all up in your head ah, and you're not really sure what to do or your person's not really sure what to do, what to say, how to say it. Like, do I text? Do I call? Do I show up? Do I email? Do I send something over social media? What do I do? So definitely not taking that first step for that exact reason, because they're completely conflicted, whoever it is. 10 of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody could be feeling like their home life, okay, Cancer New Moon, feeling like their home life is very much um, out of balance. The grass, see how green that grass is? Maybe the grass wasn't greener on that side and they're having a hard time, like they wanna tell you, but they don't really know how or how you're going to react. If you're gonna be like, ha ha, I told you so. As water sign, okay, Scorpio, maybe. Love you guys, but yeah, maybe. Be a little more bitey. But Cancerians and Pisces, we're just more like, that's okay. Especially Pisces, like, we know. <laughs> Might not say, uh, yeah, I know, but definitely kind of like, mm, yeah. So we're gonna be a bit softer if they come through and they're like, uh, yeah, so that sucked. Maybe they're getting divorced or they're, they're in a situation where they have to break up their home life, whatever it might be. Definitely feeling that way. Son of Wands in reverse. So this is um, typically very defensive energy, but um, maybe you're just drawing healthy boundaries and they're not really sure if they can approach you because those boundaries are so much in place. Like you don't have to be defensive. When you build a moat, you don't have to be so defensive. The moat does a lot for you. So that's what boundaries do. Boundaries work for us. So drawing the healthy boundaries and maybe they're like, mm, okay, maybe I can't come through and, and talk to them because I, I don't know how to approach this. I don't know how to get across the moat. Or maybe it's just that you're dropping the wand and you're like, I'm not being defensive about this. I'm, there's, no, there's no need to be defensive. Four of Swords, taking a time out. You're putting the swords down, taking a step back into the shadows and just kind of meditating, chilling, letting it be. And um, they're over there like, ah, and you're just over here like, eh. <laughs> eh. it's okay. Whatever. You want to come in, come in. Or maybe they're taking that time to go, okay, breathe. Let's just, let's pause a minute and see what I want to say. Nothing wrong with that. That's really actually what you want, right? Drop the defenses chill for a minute, think about what you want to say, and then do it. Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of choices going on. Kind of like, no. What, what do I do? I choose door number one or door number two? Or door number seven? Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, two of Ooh, alrighty. I kind of gave up only taking three cards because they just tell me when to stop, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles doing the work. I freaking love that she's got a skull. <laughs> it makes me happy. That's, that's my inner witch. I had a hard time embracing that term. I'm a white witch because I read tarot and oracle cards. I burn sage to clear the energy of my home. I burn incense. Um... I have succulents and a cat is my familiar, so fine. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, that's my that's my inner witch, the crow and the the skull. It makes me happy. 
Anyway, uh, doing the work. See how she's so thoroughly polishing that maybe you're just hyper focused on work right now, or maybe you have a lot of options when it comes to it because you've been doing the work, you've been studying, you've been um, honing your craft, you've been enhancing your skill set, whatever it is, or maybe it's time to do that so that you can have more opportunities in the future. This is a great time to go back to school, not just because my muggle job is working in higher education. It really is a good time to go back, especially if you're on hiatus from your job because epidemics, but uh, pandemics. But um, even if it's not formal education, you're reading, you're doing online tutorials, whatever it is. You're, you're really focusing on enhancing yourself in some way. Good on you. Tennis, whoa. Tennis Swords in Reverse. This also came out in the general with this particular, not this card, but this particular placement. So here we go again. Tennis Swords in Reverse. So this is kind of graphic when we look at it. It's a dude laying flat, 10 swords in his bag. Not good. When we flip it over, it's like, it's not over. Those swords fall out and he can get up and walk away. It's like, I'm fine. It's a flesh wound for my fellow Monty Python fans. Oh, the Black Knight and the Holy Grail. Great movie. It's British humor. It's a little weird, but it's fantastic. Anyway, I feel like that kind of stuff. It's a flesh wound. So those swords fall out and he gets up and he moves on. It's like, okay, we're good. Karma, this is the judgment card. Let karma do its own thing. And that's what you're doing. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on work, whatever that is for you, working on yourself. And you're letting karma do the rest. Also hearing the judgment call. So if you feel called to do something, here you go. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So now we have three pages. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, so again, someone who's younger than you. This is Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at all that green. So in reverse, um, maybe you didn't get an offer, a job offer, or maybe you got a job offer pre-COVID and it was like, yeah, we're gonna have to pause on that. It happened to me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hiring freezes, yay. So, Maybe that message did not come through or the offer got revoked. Um, it's the first time I've seen it like that with this card. So that's interesting. I'll have to add that to my knowledge base. It's part of being an intuitive reader. Sometimes we just see different things, right? So maybe that, that offer didn't come in and now you're changing course and going in a different way. Three of swords in reverse. Yeah, not heartbroken. Those swords fall right out. We're not heartbroken over this. Um, you've picked up the pieces and you've moved on to something that makes you happy. Definitely high priestess, hey Pisces. One of the reasons that I see myself as the high priestess, I am a Pisces sun sign. The high priestess is someone who um, plays her cards very close to her vest. She doesn't tell everybody everything. So maybe you're quietly doing this, you're listening to your inner guidance, your inner voice, and taking that opportunity to move on in some way. Um, you're taking esoteric knowledge, stuff that's just for you. And uh, she's, she's very much like, I just know, I just know. The Empress which I love the high priestess and this empress here. It is very much the energy of, I got this. Queen of Pentacles. Um, somebody who's older than you, kings and queens I see is older, so significantly older than you. Could be a mother, mother figure, a boss. Um, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She is very, look at her throne, it's just beautiful. I'm like, you can feel that rich red velvet. It's just gorgeous. Um, she's nurturing in that uh, she likes her home to be just so, can kind of be obsessed with appearances. 
um, hot meal on the table, clean sheets, clean clothes, they're pressed and hung up. Um, everything's beautifully decorated. It's in exact right order. So she's like, look at how shiny this pinnacle is. <laughs> she's, she's queen of the house. It's what she does. Goes beautifully with that Empress energy. Eight of Wands, communication, and fast, fast, fast. Something's coming in. So before where you were kind of like, um, these messages aren't coming. Now they are. Coming in hot. Ten of Wands, speaking of coming in hot. So Knights are um, someone I see as your peers. So about five years in either way. Um, and fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. He is the second fastest moving knight in the deck. So where we have the knight of swords, the fastest, now we've got the second fastest. So this is serious energy. He can sometimes be kind of flitting, kind of comes in and out a little bit, but in general, this is definitely the energy of, um, you don't have to tiptoe, sweetheart, it's okay. <laughs> My son came out of hiding, so teenagers. Um, he was trying to be quiet, which I appreciate. Thank you, sweetie. But the Knight of Wands is very much um, quick, decided action, where the Knight of Swords is decided action. Here, Knight of Wands is decided action, like, we're doing this. So having these two Knights come out together, both upright, Something big is happening, and I've been saying that all week. I kept trying to date 720. I didn't know what day it was today. I had to ask my A-L-E-X-A -E what <laughs> the date was. It's right beside me, so I didn't want to set it off. But um, I, I'm like, what's today's date? I don't even know what the date is. It's the 19th. So tomorrow's the full moon. I kept trying to date things all week for the 20th. So something big is happening with this new moon, guys. Manifest your desires and make sure you dream big and that you're serious because it's, it's happening. Okay, so it's something big was happening, right? <clears throat> Queen of Wands in reverse. So you could be um, leaving a fire sign. So here we go again, Aries, Leo, Sag. Queens, significantly older. But um, she's so beautiful and so much in her power. And like, how you doing? <laughs> in reverse, she's kind of controlling and manipulative. Or maybe you've lost your passion. You've lost your fire in some way. But with this Knight of Swords, I'm thinking it's more like a little bit of the, the controlling side of things. Seven of Swords in reverse. Not sad to see that one. So the Seven of Swords is manipulation, feeling um, outcast from society or your inner circle, feeling uh, like somebody took something from you. So in reverse, this is coming back. If somebody took something that you felt belonged to you, rightfully belonged to you, and it put out your fire, it's coming back. Or it's definitely not working out the way that they thought it was. The grass wasn't greener. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. No longer single for some of you. Um, this person or this opportunity coming back, it's going to help you out in that department. Or it could be that you're feeling turned on your head, like you're not as independent as you thought you were. Take it out, it resonates. You know, like kind of lost your fire, not as independent as you thought you were. Eight of Cups, you're walking away and you're doing it quickly with that um, Knight of Swords. Walking away. Like I said, you could be walking away from a fire sign too. Four of Wands in reverse. Don't love that. But this is... Um, Typically, in like the 11-11 card, ultimate soulmate, twin flame, divine union, etc. And it's the Shufa. So it's the, um, or Maypole. So wedding in reverse. Um, that could be what's happening. You could be leaving a long-term situation. 
take what resonates. Ten of Wands being done. Put, you're carrying a heavy burden. This is burdensome for you. It's time to put it down. So if you are leaving somebody or somebody's leaving you, could very well um, happen very quickly and it might kind of blow out your fire and um, make you feel a little less dependent. Or maybe it's because you were codependent. But um, ultimately it's for the best. Now we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So maybe you feel like you didn't have a choice in the matter. Or maybe you do feel like kind of Merlin energy. I love Merlin. And maybe you feel because it's in reverse that somebody was manipulating you. All right. And then Six of Pentacles and Page of Swords in reverse. No. Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Page of Swords is upright. Like I said with... Um, Spying. So it could be spying on you. Like, what are you doing over there? What's going on? Nine of Cups. Okay. So the first card that came out is the nine of cups in reverse. So that's um, like wishes fulfilled, the bounty, see that table? So in reverse, not real happy. Again, feeling like things, maybe because of the situation you're getting out of, you're feeling like things either are or could be unbalanced. Like the other person get, it's not 50-50 split, the other person gets more alimony or child support or something than or maybe they get to keep the house or whatever it is. Maybe that's your fear and that's not what you're trying to manifest. That would not be a wish come true. The tower in reverse. I personally love the tower um, because all it means is that which is not serving us gets knocked down. And notice how that crown's kind of fallen off. But in reverse, um, this isn't going to be as bad as you think because people tend to be afraid of the tower. I, I understand why it's just for me. I'm like, Ooh, tower. Yay. And people are like, what is wrong with you? And I have a dear friend who Corey, if you're watching, she loves the death card and people kind of look at her the same way. Like what is wrong with you? When you understand the tarot, you understand it's actually, those are great cards. <laughs> people are just, generally don't don't like them because they are scary depictions that ten of swords is scary too like oh my god somebody's coming to stab me in the back and kill me no 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 so the tower this is not going to be a tower moment for you this is not as bad as you think it's probably gonna work out in your favor really so here we go page of wands upright where it was in reverse at the top now it's upright and he's like hey like that knight of swords like charge this one is hey Pages are messengers. So again, younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Lots of fire in here and swords. So that's air signs and fire signs. And this is um, significantly younger energy, maybe less mature. Maybe it's a little like, maybe it's a little bit of gossip with that page of swords and the page of wands. Maybe somebody's gossiping or talking about like, oh my God, did you hear they're getting a divorce or you, something, or you're afraid of that sun in reverse. So definitely you're not happy about it uh, or you're fearful that this is not going to work out in your favor. But like I said, tower in reverse, it's not going to be that bad. Six cups. Somebody from your past could be coming back. Um, maybe they're seeing what's going on at that eight of wands. Maybe you guys start communicating again. And you're just kind of like, yeah, this is, this is what's happening. And they're going, oh, really? Hmm, interesting. I don't think they have any malintent. I think it's like, oh, because look how bright and sunny that card is. It's like, remember? Remember what it was like? Remember how happy we were? Remember when we were kids or when we were younger? Remember? That's what this card's all about. The devil. So be careful not to feel like you're trapped in any way. Um, 
and don't slide into any kind of addictions. That's what this card is. Feeling like you're trapped. Maybe you're staying because you're afraid of what could happen. Tower in reverse, it's not as bad as you think. That's also the sign of Capricorn. See, you're gonna have a reason to celebrate Three of Cups. You're gonna get together, maybe virtually, with your friends, your loved ones, that person coming back and be like, yeah, this is what's up. And this is also support system. So if you're going through this, if you're fearful, if it's not going well, or you're afraid it's not gonna go well, lean on your tribe. Ultimately moving on. And see how she's rowing herself away? I love that. I love that depiction. She's like, I got this. I'm handling it. We're good here. Beautiful. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. So you're definitely in your power with this High Priestess and Empress here. You're making some kind of decision and you're moving on. And um, it's really, it's not going to be as bad as you think. Just make sure that when you get into that Four of Swords energy, the High Priestess energy, you really take a time out, think about what it is you want. It might not be completely painless in the process of the sun in reverse there, but ultimately you're going to be good to go. There is nothing to fear. Focus on yourself. Focus on working on yourself, whatever that means for you. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Lean on your support system, whomever that is for you. Friends, family, your mom, your sister, your best friend, whomever it is your soul tribe. They got your back. They're there for you. They're there to listen, to help, to comfort. That's what they're The Lady of Lightning surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift, number 35. That kind of makes me feel like um, the tower. But whatever this is, this is going to be, this is big, something big is happening. It's definitely something um, that you're gonna want to pay attention to. With it being a total paradigm shift, it's like the way that you thought things would be isn't how they really are. The Dragon's Duel. Inner Conflict, Morality, Conscious Choice, number 23. Beautiful. So if you're those, the two of wands in reverse and then it comes out upright, if you're internally conflicted in some way, um, Four of Swords. Go within, see what, oh, actually first, see what um, divine guidance you receive from your soul, from the higher realms. See what, um, what works out for you. High Priestess, very intuitive. Pay attention to your dreams, keep a dream journal. It can tell, dreams tell us a lot about our subconscious state. When we're having a hard time focusing or getting clarity, it can help to journal your dreams. Look for those hidden meetings or patterns, notice any patterns. There's a period of time where, I mean, I have some recurring dreams but I, I had continuously tornadoes. And then um, I have recurring dreams about elevators. I hate elevators. I hate them. 
They scare the bejesus out of me and I will take stairs anytime I can. And it's very much, I, I don't know. It's always like they're moving sideways or they start spinning. They get, they don't get stuck. They might pause for a minute and then drop or start turn. Usually they start turning. <sighs> makes me crazy. But it's stuff like that that you can start noticing any kind of patterns that might come through. So this is a new to me Oracle. Actually, it is brand new. It just came out last week. My newest Oracle deck, the Spellcasting Oracle. Beautiful deck. So let's see. What can we manifest here with this new moon energy? Courage. You're going to need some courage. <laughs> this makes me think of the strength card. Whatever is going down, you're going to need some courage. And closure. Yep. This is that paradigm shift. Uh, this is going to give you that closure. I'm not the biggest fan in the world of the word closure. Um, just because of my grief recovery and, and being a bereavement counselor for a while. Closure is such a fin like there's so much finality with it that it's more like, how do I explain it? Instead of closing the book and being done with it, you turn the page and you start writing a new chapter. And when you're done with that chapter is when you can move on and see what the rest of the book has to offer, right? Hopefully that made sense for you. Since we are water signs, I am definitely pulling from the mermaid oracle here. Let's see what the mermaids have to say. This is by Lucy Cavendish. And I'll link all of these decks in the description box below, as well as all of my information. So like I said earlier, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like your own personal private reading with just your energy specifically, feel free to contact me. You can follow me on social media and uh, check out my website. And as always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Song of the Siren. So I think sirens sometimes get a bad rap because um, they have the beautiful voices and they're, then they're the ones that lure the men to their deaths, right? The sailors. Whereas mermaids are like, we're the ones that are helping. So um, siren number five, so, which five is change. Song of the Siren, the call, summoning, voice, to acknowledge. So this makes me think of judgment. Such a beautiful card. And the backs of these cards are beautiful too. So this makes me think of hearing that judgment call, hearing um, the divine going within, listening to your, your own song and singing your own song as well. All right, now I'm gonna, since we're at the new moon, I decided I was going to pull from Yasmin Bolin's Moonology deck. Let's see what message we've got for the new moon water signs. The answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. So there you go. Yeah, your, as you, judgment, as you listen, listen to that. The answers that you need the answers that you seek are already within you. You just gotta listen. So uh, those are the messages that wanted to come through this week, guys. Pretty intense, there's some stuff going on. There's a few different storylines going on here. So again, take what resonates, live what doesn't. And um, check into manifesting with tomorrow's new moon. And listen, listen to your own guidance of what you wanna manifest. 
whatever's ending and you're moving away from is definitely needed. So um, do that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.